What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am here 2014 Mercedes E350 Cabriolet. This video will pertain to all Mercedes E-classes between the years of 2010 all the way out to 2017 with this body style. They did a face lift in 2014 on the convertibles and I believe also the sedans. But the premise of the content in this video is the same for all of those cars. So this this car, 2014 E350, this has the, uh, the sport package, AMG package with the uh, drilled rotors here on the front. So pretty si simple, they're 320 millimeters so if you're ordering the so if you're ordering the parts it's 320 millimeters uh i believe it was or maybe 322 but pretty sure it's 320 on the front rotor here and of course fresh pads so we'll get in here take off these wheels i'll show you on the one side do it on the other and take it for a quick spin stay tuned guys All right, guys, so first things first, I removed this bracket here. You can see how it sits inside. All right, so first things first, I removed this bracket. It sits inside there like this, holds the, bra the caliper in place. And uh, the pads still have some miles left, not much, but the rotors were starting to vibrate a little bit and give some feedback. And obviously, since the car runs so freaking nice, we went ahead and replaced it because it's more comfortable that way. So. Next things up is I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna release the pad a little bit between the rotor and the caliper. So I went ahead just to push the piston in a little bit by putting the screwdriver in like this. And just by simply doing that, you guys can see how that loosened up a little bit. So that's gonna give us some wiggle room when we go ahead now to remove this caliper, which uses a 13 millimeter bolt there, two of them top and bottom, so we'll take that out. All right guys, next day here. Ended up getting caught up on the phone, so I stopped recording the actual brake change, but there you guys have it, new brakes. Took it for a quick spin around the block last night, but here is the old pads. Um, just make sure that you guys realize that looks are deceiving. The outside pads looked like they had more meat, but the inside pad had very little. <laughs> In fact, this is the inside pad here from the driver's side and it literally had maybe a thousand miles left on it. Um, so the inside had like a thousand left. This is the outside from the driver's side. You can see a huge amount of difference in wear. Um, doesn't make too much sense to me. All right, so I decided to hop in the car today instead of reviewing a full brake change which I'm sure you can find on a million other videos I figured I'd talk a little bit more about the car itself this car is a 2014 model year obviously they made this body style and spec all the way out to 2017 so not really too long ago were these cars still being sold on the showroom floor that being said we've owned this car in the household this is my dad's uh, like summer car really primarily and uh, we've had this since um, 2017 uh, we bought it out of like a three-year lease got a, like a smoking deal on it car was in clean condition still is in clean condition and um, things been perfect ever since uh, really the first maintenance item outside like an annual oil change because we you know the car's only driven like maybe five or six thousand miles a year so the oil is changed primarily just once a year it's pretty awesome how easy it is to maintain this car most people think Mercedes Benz's are uh, a pain in the butt super expensive but it's, it's really not all that bad I mean fortunately for us this car has only 36,000 miles on it so it might be a little unfair to talk about 
maintenance and build quality because it's so young and mild. But for years, for the amount of years that this amount of years that this thing's been on the road going, um, it's been solid. Uh, first brake change, first real maintenance thing outside, you know, an oil change, and of course we changed the tires once, uh, which were the rears. The fronts are still good, and outside that, the quality has been awesome. The roof has been solid. You guys can tell I'm in a convertible right now on bumpy roads and uh, the camera might be shaking but the car isn't rattling so I mean it's just really nice nicely built the way um, Mercedes did this and of course there's no certain no real surprise but you know after a couple of years rubber you know dries out gets hard and starts to squeak and rattle more and all that stuff and in this situation this car hasn't had really too many issues on that on that level so it's been pretty awesome I'm not gonna lie uh, so if you're looking to get into one of these that is still low miles between the generation of 2010 and 2017 you should do it I mean I know the 550 is probably the better bet because it's got the uh, it's got the V8 or yeah it's got the V8 in there but hey if you guys want to hop into this it's the V6, it's it's still fast, it has like uh, 300 horsepower, 258 foot-pounds of torque. So it's got some balls, it's got some power, and it handles nice. This one has the uh, the AM, uh, AMG package, so it's got the sportier rims. Really not that bad, let's walk around the car real quick. So here we are inside the car, you guys can tell, uh, you know, it's got the older system here for from Mercedes, but it's really not that all out of date. It's got everything you need except for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I know there's adapters you can buy to integrate that into the current system here. So if you guys want to add all that, you can. But other than that, it's got everything else and it's solid. It's got the seat adjustments uh, that is air driven there. I don't know if you guys can see it. So that drives the cushions in and out for adjustments on both sides. Pretty freaking awesome. And as you guys can see, you know, 36,000 miles hasn't had so much wear, but the quality of the leather, everything you can tell is holding up nicely. Outside the car, same thing, paint is in top shape. We've had the bumpers re retouched, resprayed because of, uh, you know, hitting the wall or the garage, whatever. But outside that, paint is in solid shape. Here's a nice little glimpse of our new rotors on the front. Those have the coating on there, which is nice. I typically like to buy the coated, coated rims or coated rotors. So as you uh, wear off the coating, it keeps the coating everywhere else, helps it prevent rust. Here's the front clip, resprayed bumper, freshly resprayed actually. This side has seemed to be getting a lot of action with the garage. I guess they they like each other a lot. I don't know. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. All right, so we're back in the car here. And uh, just the overall quality of this car is just really amazing. I mean, just the, just like check this and listen out if you can hit, hear it in the audio. You hear that click? That is me touching the uh, paddle shift on the wheel. In most cars, they're plastic and clunky and make all sorts of funky noise. In this car, it's, it doesn't do any of that. It's solid, it's smooth, it feels quality. I mean, that just, just one button on this entire car just kind of really sums up the whole entire thing. And that's really exactly it. I don't need to go into anything further with the quality on the interior. It's been pretty solid, just as what just what it should be for a Mercedes Benz. And it's, it's nice. This car has aged very well in terms of the interior quality and design. And it's aged so far very well on the outside. I know there's a newer model out there. They look sick, they look sweet. It's the new shiny object on the market. But you know, I still think the front clip on this car in particular is still a really sexy, aggressive looking front design. So uh, nothing really bad to say. Um, if you still wanna buy one, they're pretty cheap, I'm sure. You can get one, you know, 10 to 15,000, depending on the miles. Uh, even probably go up to upwards of 20,000 from there, depending on the year and of course the miles. 2017s obviously are probably still uh, pretty high up there in the 30s but um, being uh, a little bit older and having the same design and same infrastructure and same every set same same everywhere else 
may, may be worth buying something a little older. I don't know. Quality's there. And that's why I wanted to throw this video out there. So I hope you really enjoyed it. It's a little bit off pace of our normal stuff, but I figured, uh, you know, the content is here. Might as well provide it to the YouTube world. And I hope you enjoyed it. So please like, share, subscribe. Drop a comment below if you can. And I will see you guys next video.